responsorial psalm today asks us to seek the face of the Lord always, always. As I've been praying with, with this psalm and also the gospel and reflecting upon this ministry here, Akko, it's interesting how Akko seeks the face of the Lord through Mary. This is a Marian society. I came in, the men were here praying the rosary. I opened the, the chapel's door. Mary is there in a beautiful stained glass uh, window. And we can only see the face of Christ because of Mary, because of her act of faith. That's how God chose to come into the world, incarnating, but through the yes of, of Mary. And since Sunday, we've been hearing the Lord speaking about the kingdom of God. Your names are written in heaven. I give authority to heal the sick. So the Lord not only gives authority here, but if this is a command and he instructs them, and a lot of the work you do here is this instruction. Look at the, some of the men here, the students. They go to the university, as most of you went to the university to be instructed. And now they're doing the same thing. And besides that, they've been, um, they've been like apprentice. You'll be masters to them. That is important. Because that instruction, that's what keeps you together. That's what kept the disciples together. And then we have Jesus speaking about the kingdom of God. Because he knows the reality of the evil one, Satan. So much so that he said on Sunday that he saw Satan falling from the sky like lightning. If we do not believe in the mystery of iniquity, we don't believe in Jesus Christ. Satan is real. Because if you don't believe in Satan, we do not believe in Christ. But we should have nothing to fear. Sometimes people are so afraid of the actions and the things that we see in the world. Most of them are the result of the works of Satan. And his job description is in 1 Peter, to murder, to destroy, and to lie. I often tell people we have nothing to worry about because the victory is ours. The victory is ours because we know it. The kingdom of God is at hand and our names are written in heaven. But seeking God's face here on earth, the Lord chose to depend on Mary and Joseph. It's important the choosing of the disciples, the twelve, why Jesus would mention their names as he sends them to do what? To do exorcisms, to heal the sick. The authority that comes from heaven to do what? To do healing. And that's what we do in the Catholic Church. We do have the sacraments of healing, right? Conciliation brings healing to people's souls. But I want to bring, like to bring together here the Old and the New Testament when it comes to Mary, the one who allowed us to see the face of Christ. Comparing Mary with Abraham, our father in faith in the Old Testament. And Mary is our mother in faith. In faith, she said, yes, that act of faith that Aku strives for. That's what you teach. That's why you marry him. Abraham, our father in faith, was asked by the Lord to do what? To sacrifice his firstborn. Indeed, he was going to, but the Lord did not allow, sent his angel to stop him. But he was going to sacrifice Isaac. And then Isaac, from Isaac came Jacob. And from Jacob came uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. In the New Testament, which begins with the blessing of the incarnation of the genealogy of, genealogy of Jesus, then we see Mary. With that act of faith, a perfect one, and then she has her firstborn, differently from Abraham, 
which did not sacrifice his son, Mary offered. She knew from the very beginning that Jesus was going to be sacrificed from the time the child was uh, presented into the temple because Simeon said to her, a sword will pierce your heart. She knew it. And she offered her son to be sacrificed for us. And then Jesus is kind of tied for Jacob here. And from Jesus, the 12 disciples came in comparison with the 12 tribes of Israel. And from the 12 disciples, we have this church. The church that preached the gospel to the whole world that began with 12. To drive a thousand miles, you have to drive a yard. Doesn't look like many people, 12. But it changed the course of the world. Not because of them, but because of the authority that was given to them. Yesterday I mentioned that power without authority is tyranny. And many of you came from... Uh, communist regimes like Cuba, we have Venezuela. Basically, the whole South and Central America has been taken over by the Marxists, by communists. And those people, they do have power, but they do not have authority. Like the disciples, they have both power and authority. When the priest is ordained the priest, he's given what? He's given power, but he's also given authority. Authority to do what? to forgive sins, authority to celebrate Mass, authority to say the words of uh, uh, the Eucharist, the consecration, and that will become the body and blood of Christ. And the church has that authority. And each and every one of you too, because you were baptized, you died and you resurrected with Christ. Your baptism gives you the authority and that's why we exercise that authority as Christians, especially Catholics. That's the way we should seek the face of God. Knowing that in the church, we find that authority, we find that power. And who is the mother of the church? The mother of the church is Mary, the mother of God. The same one that Aku seeks daily. I've seen the joy that you have to uh, contemplate Our Lady, to pray to and for Our Lady. I see the students. I see the instruction that they receive from you, their mentors. That's the word that I forgot, mentors, your mentors. I see the transformation. I know them all. I've been walking with them for over a year, and I see the transformation, the fruit of your work. I believe you're doing a good job in seeking the face of Christ through Mary. It's interesting that I was, I was praying about that as I was coming here and I saw you guys praying the rosary. The, uh, the door is at Mary there. And then this is a Marian society. That's how you seek the face of Christ with joy. So it's been a great joy for me to walk with you uh, to serve you and always remember that the gospel of Sunday, I think that gospel is so powerful that your names are written in heaven. The kingdom of God is indeed at hand. Actually, the kingdom of God is here indeed as Christ comes down from heaven to offer himself and to give us uh, his body as food for us. Heaven comes down literally, but not in its fullness. Continue to seek the face of Christ, knowing that the kingdom is at hand, knowing that your names are written in heaven, and knowing, I know you know this, that Mary is essential, essential for us to seek the face of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.